D terminal is the actual voltage difference that it provides in a circuit. So V terminal, actual voltage difference that it provides in a circuit. Now, if the battery is brand new, perfect, then VT is equal to EMF. But as it gets used, the V terminal is less than the EMF. Okay? So in terms of an equation here, let's, let's set up the whole circuit. Let's see what we get. When you go from the negative and the positive of the EMF, you gain positive EMF. You gain potential. Okay? So in other words, when you were doing the circuit, visualize yourself as you're the current. You're the current. You're the positive charge. Okay? And as the positive charge is going from the negative to the, uh, the positive of the EMF, it's gaining potential. So it's kind of like something is lifting you. Okay? And then as you go this way, something you're going down the current. So it's kind of like you're going down the river as the river is flowing downstream. You're going down the resistor. So you lose potential. And the potential difference between the twins of a battery, remember Ohm's law? Potential difference V is IR. So you lose a potential, negative IR. Okay, so you gain potential, you lose potential. And then the internal resistance of an ammeter is approximately zero. We learned that in the lab, right? It's got its own little internal resistance, R int, which is uh, zero or approximately zero. And then this is the R int of the battery, the R internal. Okay, so we're going to assume the R int of the ammeter is zero. And then so no potential loss happens there. And then you go over here and you go with the current again. The negative, this is the negative side of the battery here. You go, you go through the current again and you lose potential again. Every time you're going with the current across the resistor, you're losing potential. It's like going downhill, you see? So you lose another potential, negative I R int, ne negative I R int. So plus EMF minus IR minus IR int is equal to, you end up back to where you began. Let's say you began right there. I can begin a circuit anywhere and end at that same spot. I should be able to go around the whole loop and justify all my potential gains, all my potential losses, and I should go back to zero again. Okay? So that's equal to zero now. So according to this, the current in the circuit will equal which makes sense. The current in the circuit is the intended voltage difference of the battery divided by the whatever resistor you hook it up to plus the internal resistance of the battery, okay? Now, once you get the current, or once you get that, so let's uh, put that in a uh, box. Now, the V-terminal is, remember, that's the actual voltage difference across the battery. In other words, if I take a voltmeter and I connect it to the battery from the negative to the positive, what's the voltmeter going to read? Well, it's going to read plus EMF, but it's going to lose a little potential here, right? Minus IR int. So V-terminal is defined as, so that's its very definition. It's the EMF minus IR int. That's its definition. So let's take the formula that we derived, the, the equation that we derived for the I and put it in here, see what the V-terminal is going to be.
the current I is EMF divided by R plus R int times R int. Okay. And then the EMF comes out. And then you're left with what? Uh, R plus R int goes over there minus R int. So it just becomes R. So we get that. So let's see if this equation makes sense now. If the external resistance is zero, if big R is zero, what does it tell us? V terminal is uh, zero, zero, well, it's going to be zero, right? Uh, zero volts. That means if you don't hook up the the battery to anything, okay, so it doesn't provide anything. That's simply it, right? If the R int is zero, then what does the formula give you? Then the V terminal goes to is exactly the EMF. So that means if the battery is brand new and somehow it's like very nicely made, no losses, that means the battery will provide whatever it says. Okay? So that makes sense. And then uh, the other limiting case is if R goes to infinity, what happens? That means Let's say, you, let's say the battery still has R end, but you hook it up to a big resistor, okay? Then what happens? So V terminal approaches what? Uh, well, as R goes to infinity, this thing becomes insignificant compared to that. So the R and uh, this one disappears, R over R is one. So V terminal approaches EMF. It's not exactly equal to, but the approaches. So that's telling you, even if a battery is old, okay, but if you hook it up to a lot of resistance, a lot, huge resistor, like 10K ohms or whatever, then the battery is going to provide, uh, then the battery is going to provide the same voltage as what it's intended. Unless the orange is also huge, you know. Unless R int also goes to infinity, <laughs> okay? If they both are big, then uh, the V terminal is not uh, the same as EMF, okay? How about another kind of interesting situation? How about if the two resistors are equal? Okay, so what's V terminal? Okay, well then that's going to be uh, R plus uh, R, so R over 2R, so it's going to be EMF uh, over 2, right? Okay, which makes sense too, right? So if you hook up a, a battery to an external source and its resistance, its resistance is the same as that resistor, then uh, the, the battery provides half the voltage it's intended. Okay? So let me give you an example of